area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Remember me like I'm Pop. Remember me like I'm Nips. Remember me as your brother. Remember me like I'm Big. Look, I always spoke the truth. Looked you in your eyes. So okay if you cry. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, rice gang, clothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? It sounds like a hundred thousand. It sounds like somebody's about to walk away with some big money. It sounds like a semi-final, huh? Huh? Yeah, yeah, break some. It smell like money, let's make some. Um Salute to my guy Showtime SP. You got Cortez versus Rum Nitty. You got Casey J versus Geechee Gotti. I'ma break this down as I break down every round that I've sketched about nothing slicking in the tools in the rusty share house. Um Geechee Gotti. To most, is going to be the prohibited favorite to win the whole thing. It's just the way it is. Very consistent. Wins a lot of battles. He can freestyle. He's got punches. He's got aggression. He just went crazy versus Swamp in the last joint. Um, Cortez had a battle with Jack Boy Man. On the app, it's way closer than it was in the actual room. Cortez got by Jack Boy Man. I know there was people out there that felt like Jack won, but a lot of people felt like Cortez won. I had Cortez 2-1. Rum Nitty. To me, Rum Nitty is probably, bar for bar, one of the craziest that's left. Yo, people sleep on so many of Rum Nitty's lines, especially in the room. Like, I was about to do a blog on all the punchlines that people really missed out of Rum Nitty in his last 30 on um, the caffeine joint. When he said you couldn't take Rum to war in a canteen, like, dog, <laughs> to everybody who's in the military or knows about the military, you would sneak rum to war by putting it inside of a canteen, son. Yo, <sighs> the lines that people missed were crazy. And it was mad. It was more of them. He had so many. If you watch it back and listen to the actual bars that he's saying, come on, son. Yo, but him versus Cortez, crazy battle. Cortez is going to need another one of them Cortez performances. He's had two or three of them in the tournament. I'm not going to lie. He's been back to back. He 30 the official. Him and Jack Boy was closer, but he's been winning and he's been doing it consistently. And a lot of people have been sleeping on him. So it's like, if Cortez wins again, would you really, really, you couldn't even be surprised at this point. Like Cortez comeback and what he's been doing is wow. Jack Boy may have one of the craziest comebacks since Soldier Boy and he, he defused him. Um, in this one, my safe bet is Rum Nitty. Punches, they go far. You know what I'm saying? And Rum Nitty has not had his cage rattled in this tournament yet. He, I mean, him versus Sirius Jones was like the closest because people felt like Sirius Jones got it, but then you find out Sirius Jones recycled. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? But people that was judging the battle didn't know he recycled. But anyway, um, he's going to get his cage rattled by Cortez, especially Cortez with that back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back, like rapid flow. Um... I did say after Rum Nitty's battle, I felt like he needed to do more. I don't. Once I've watched the material, he has had $100,000 material. It's just the reactions don't be crazy like that because people are so used to Rum Nitty having these bars. If you give Rum Nitty's punchlines to most other people, they will be going crazy, but we're so used to it, which doesn't take away from the amount of pressure and the amount of shit that he can do. I got Rum Nitty winning 2 1. Geechee Gotti versus KCJ. KCJ has made it through this tournament like as a as a as an unpredicted favorite. Like she's literally the people have choked against her. They've stumbled. She calls prep to choke. What the fuck did this bitch do to me? Uh, we knew twerk. We, I'm not too surprised at that. No hate. You know what I'm saying? In order to keep it a buck, you gotta be honest. The hate sounds like truth. Niggas will hate the truth. So I kind of knew he wasn't gonna be there. But then prep did it too. I was like, yo, does this bitch got voodoo? You're like, what the fuck? But see, Gigi Gotti has such a flow where he can freestyle, he can uh, rebuttal, even if he chokes. Like, I've seen him choking battles, and he'll just be like, yo, shout out to Smack, shout out to my league, you know, shout out to that 100K. 
And if I don't win tonight, my niggas is in the building and they got 100 Ks. And he jumps or jump right back into his verse. I've literally seen him do this shit before. Um, but what Geechee Gotti does and what he's able to do, if KCJ could be him, she might as well just get the money. If she get by Geechee Gotti, she might as well get paid the same fucking night. Because Geechee Gotti can do, what can he do? Come on, give me an example. You got Geechee Gotti verse. You ain't getting no money. This bitch is dying. The clip is flying. Shit. Clip is flying. You thought I was gonna choke? The only thing that's gonna choke is you on this dick of mine. Like he can literally do shit like that and get the crowd with him and, and it could be crazy for her. Um, if she does happen to get through this battle and wins, I got her winning the whole goddamn thing. I'm not, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna be honest with you. In order to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest. I gotta win the whole thing if she gets by him. But uh, I think she's had a phenomenal run. She's did a lot for female battle rap. If the year ended right now, she would be the number one female, even if she continues with what she's doing. Just getting this far in a tournament with men puts her on top of everything. Um, phenomenal run, phenomenal year. Uh, got further than most probably would have predicted her, but I think it's over. It's, it's over. I, I, I mean, if <laughs> I, I, like I said, I've been wrong before, I'll be wrong some more. Being a blogger is one of the only professions where you can be wrong and you still have a job. You know what I'm saying? But I, if it's up to, if, 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 if what happens, Geechee got past Jerry West, Geechee got past Swamp pretty easily. Has not had his rim rocked in this tournament, has not had blood in his mouth in this tournament. Nobody has had anything but, but Casey J got the voodoo factor, you know what I'm saying? Like she could really make niggas choke. I don't know how. I don't know if she's putting something in their spaghetti. I don't know what it is. But she's, niggas have choked against Casey. Um, Gigi Gotti didn't take no battles this week. You know he battled like four times a week and shit, you know what I'm saying? He battled the, the who he battled? He battled the first round, the nigga left, the, oh he, yeah, when he 30, the, the first round with the 30. He left beating son, beating the brakes off of him, jumps on a plane, goes all the way across the country and battles somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Like that's only come out yet. Um, I seen dude in the comments one day like, yo, he ain't 30 me, yada, yada, yada. So you know what, respectfully, he beat the first round of the tournament, flew to Atlanta, battled someone else, and then came back and battled again. So this nigga's like a, he's like a monster, he's like a mutant. So KCJ could do the Gene Gray shit on him, you know what I'm saying? And we'll see how that goes. But other than that, man, salute to every single one of those subscribers, that notification gang. Um, salute to my guy Showtime SP. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Brooklyn. We got the Celtics in the first round. I seen um, Jason Tatum put up a 50 piece. I'm not worried. It is what it is. Gang. 70K and we still on the grind. 70K and we still on the grind. It's your boy Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Bah! What's good, y'all? Niggas is mad as I gotta work? Huh? I be working, man. Before y'all even say nothing, don't even worry about none of this here. It's a uniform, my nigga. But we here to talk about this one last time. One last time before the time that it needs to be the one last time. Ultimate Madness 3. It's the final, the semifinals. Semi-semifinals, you feel me? This is where the 100K bars need to come out. 100K bars need to be flying and dishing out. And so far, the people that are here think that they deserve that 100K. The people that are here feel like they need that 100K. And I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at none of you niggas trying to get this 100K. I'm with that. I'm here to support. But let's talk about it. Elephant in the room. Rum Nitty versus Cortez. Now, a lot of y'all might be fans of Rum Nitty. A lot of y'all might be fans of Cortez. Let's rephrase that. Most of y'all are fans of Rum Nitty. And y'all just got on to Cortez showing that he's showing the work. And he's showing that he's showing the proof in the work. You know what I'm saying? By the way, make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe and all that. We appreciate all of that love. You feel me? Rum Nitty has been basically on autopilot, if you ask me. I think Rum Nitty has been on autopilot. He's only been doing what he's supposed to be doing. He comes in. He collects his check. He does his hours. And then he's out the building. That's it. That's all you got to ask of Rum Nitty. But this is not what we're asking of you, Mr. Nitty, sir. After you, Mr. Nitty, sir. You know what I'm saying? We asking if you want this 100K and we think that you deserve this 100K, we kind of want those 100K bars. Because your opponent is going to give us 100K bars. Also, side note, 
this is probably gonna be a fun drinking game because y'all should take a sip or a shot every time y'all hear the words a honey K this weekend. That's just something I just want to throw that out there. I just want to throw it out there. Honey K is gonna be used a lot. All right. Rum Nitty versus Cortez. We want Rum Nitty. Uh, I gotta say, Rum Nitty is, is definitely the fan favorite. But I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Cortez is that dark horse. Cortez has been showing us that he really want to be here. Cortez has been showing us that he's been doing this for a long time. He's been doing this for years. Okay, you feel me? Cortez has found his way through the portal. Okay, he found his own portal. He found his own way. He just was like, we here now. What's up? Hmm? Hmm? We here now? No? Y'all didn't like that? Y'all didn't like that transition? That's cool. All right, fuck it. Anyway, I'm going to say just to take a shot in the dark, I'm still going to go with Rum Nitty because I feel like once Rum Nitty feels as though that his back is up against the wall and somebody who will kill because they have no other choice but to kill, I honestly think that Rum Nitty is going to squeak out of this one. Another battle that need, that that's going to go down, okay? Okay? It's not going to be fair. It's not going to be right. It's not going to be good. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be good if we don't get 100K rounds. KCJ versus Geechee Gotti. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Casey. I'll be counting you out every time, boo. I know. I, I, I love you. I love you so much, Casey. I do. And I had to shout you out. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you did your thing versus twerk, you did your job. When you battled prep, I could understand how some people might have felt a certain way about prep winning the battle, but yet you still won that battle. Please don't get mad at me because I said what I said about you in that second round, but we, we still skated past that. We Nobody's even talking about that. Everybody forgot. Everybody forgot. So I'm going to forget too, all right? All right, back. Now, um, I'm still gonna have to go with Geechee Gotti on this one. It's hard to beat Geechee Gotti live. It's hard to get. It's hard to beat Geechee Gotti when he's on this run. My personal pick is that the finals is going to be an EFB finals. Would I be mad if I saw Cortez versus Geechee Gotti? Not at all. Would I be mad if I saw Rum Nitty versus Casey J? Wouldn't be mad at all. Cause this is the final four, and I'm all with the final four. But we also got two other battles that's going down that 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 I want to see. I want to see. Holmesy versus Oops. That intensity, that energy, that feeling that you get when you feel like Holmesy is out here snapping on niggas and he got that mad energy. It's just certain battles he be having. He shouldn't be saying what he was saying. Like he shouldn't been teaching B how to be a how to be a battle rapper because he clearly got 30 in that one. I ain't forget about that, Holmesy. But let's not forget. You are also the ultimate madness to winner. So that's why you deserve to be on this final semifinals call. So you belong here, my guy. Oops, politician, Oscar nominated, STL's finest, okay? All right, oops, oops, my bad. Every time Oops steps on that stage, he about to make niggas either cry, he about to make niggas either fight, or you about to feel real black and powered up in this motherfucker, all right? Man, this one, that battle, I feel like it can go either way. It might be a personal preference battle. Depending on what Holmesy brings to the table, I might like what Holmesy brings to the table against Oops. But then again, I might like the type of caliber that Oops is going to bring to the table. That battle is the only one I'm going to say can go either way. And plus, I ain't got to make a choice on that battle because of the fact that it doesn't really, you know, it's not going to count towards, you know, the final four or the finals. It's not going into the finals. But it is something to watch while it's going down. I know that battle is going to be first and I know that battle is going to be fire. I'm going to have to give it to my man, though. I'm going to have to give it to my man, Oops. Oops, been, been on, he's been on that, he's been on that tear. He's been trying to get at everybody. He's been trying to, it, well, not get at everybody, but he's picking and choosing his certain battles. He's picking and choosing, and I'm loving it. The final battle is you mad brolic niggas. You feel me? Y'all see that definite? You feel that? You see that? Y'all see that, Jim? You see that? You see that, Ace? You see that? Ace on me versus Jim's. Both you niggas is going to do eight reps a burnout, and then come to the stage. Both you niggas is going to the gym, you gonna flip over three monster truck tires, and then you niggas is gonna get on the stage. You niggas are going to do yoga, Pilates, and calisthenics the day before, and then as y'all niggas is walking to the stage, y'all doing curls, y'all in there. <sighs> you know why y'all doing all of that upper body? Cause y'all niggas is gonna be bumping each other and it's gonna be unfair. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Ace might try to bump gyms and gyms ain't gonna move. And they ain't gonna do nothing but piss Ace off. And he gonna try to do it again. He just gonna try to do it again. But I wanna know who is going to win the battle lyrically. Y'all niggas got me in here sweating like a preacher in the third service. Who is going to win this battle? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Lyrically, I feel like Ace Amin may have gyms 
lyrically. He has more of the con connections and he has more of the syllables. But Jim's has performance. Not to mention Jim's also has that 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 I'm a blogger, so I know what I want to see and I know what I want to like and I know what I like. So therefore, he might find a way to critique his own shit in the middle of the battle. He has more facets. Jim's has more facets that he could bring out. You know what I'm saying for Ace. Ace got to be clean. Ace got to give three clean rounds. No slips, no stumbles, no bumbles. Not to mention this is after your John John battle. So you got to prove that Jim's is not even on the same caliber as you. And you need to be back up there with the top tiers and battling and battling niggas like John John. And then battling niggas like Surf and battling all the niggas that's up there on the upper echelon. You feel me? You feel me? Overall, I do think this event is going to be fire. I will be there Saturday. Had to put it to work this week just so I could be off this weekend. So, yes, I will be there for the live recaps, my niggas. But like always... I appreciate y'all. I got nothing but love for y'all. And now I got to go back to work because I think my manager just saw me in here yelling. And now he's about to figure out what the hell is going on. I'm going to go ahead and get on up out of here. <coughs> y'all niggas said you wanted fries with that?